Many congratulations, Dan. Thanks very much. Your timing is impeccable. We were just about to tilt the focus completely on you because we'd talked about Munster so far, a lot of errors, but obviously you still had a game to win. How much of a lift do you think it gave your players, the fact that it was clear that Munster maybe weren't on their game? Um, yeah, look, we, I, I, I think potentially one of the reasons they weren't on the game is uh, on, on their game is, is is because they were chasing it for a lot of the uh, a lot of the match because some of the execution of our set piece plays were was absolutely extraordinary um, you know the quality of that was was really good and you know that puts pressure on teams you know when you're playing in a when you're playing in a quarter final and, and you, you you start going down by a number of points you know you feel the heat you know that's 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 how it is so I, I would give my my guys a uh, or you know our guys a lot of uh, a lot of credit for that. The set piece was obviously one of the Munster's strongest areas. Did you make a conscious decision during the week to really apply the pressure there and target it? Well, I think the, one of the things about Munster's uh, defence is, uh, you know, the, the They'll defend through phases, like multiple phases. They work really hard. They get around the corner. They get off the line. You don't often see examples where they're not getting off the line with with numbers. So, you know, scoring from first phase is uh, is at a premium against against Munster. But but you know, when we when we played up here the last time, we we couldn't do that. We didn't execute the moves. Tonight we did, um, and you know we've got some serious speed out there. So uh, <laughs> it came off. Dan, just on. Ulster's performances throughout this season. We've seen them go to the mall so often because it's such a strength. But tonight, the first few line outs off the top, very direct, getting around the corner, getting the big men into the game. Was that something you looked at during the week? And also, the organisation of Farrell and Dale Ende, you exposed them on a number of occasions, which when came to line breaks, which ultimately led to tries. Is that something that you really focused on during the week in training? Well, the, the 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 question of the mall and, and the moving the ball is a, is a really interesting one, and and we have gone to the mall a lot, um, but uh, as as the weather has improved, um, and we've had a little bit of a change in mindset as well, um, Stevie, where uh, we 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 potentially felt that you know when in the middle of the season or, or or sorry in that in that sort of third quarter of the season we'd gone into a little bit of a slump in terms of attack, and it may be because we. Uh, over focused on the on the mall um, and forget the fact that that man we 've got some pace and some talent out <laughs> wide and, and using them off off set piece is 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 something that can be a real threat that 's not to say our mall can 't be a real threat it was a threat tonight um, but uh, it wa it was a, a conscious decision there definitely there 's nobody pacier in that squad than Robert Balakun. Dan, how much of a, of a lift will this have given him tonight? And it wasn't just about his attack. This tackle he put in was a game changer as well, right? Yeah, yeah well, we, we know what his defence is like, don't we? It's, uh, and his, his finishing is unbelievable. Like, you know, we, uh, um, it wasn't that move, but the, the, the other one that Robert cut through that uh, we played against Monster the last time and he didn't manage to get the ball through his hands. Uh, but uh, the timing on, on, on it this time was much better. Um, look, he, 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 he's, a, he's a tremendous player. I don't know whether he needs a lift. You know, it's not too long ago he scored three tries in a, a Champions Cup game against uh, Toulouse. So, you know, th th this, this, is, this is a guy on fire. Um, and, you know, we, we, we need to use him and, and get him involved in the game as much as we can. Dan, tell us about uh, James Hume. He, he makes the pass to Balakun here and he just seems to be more and more present and he seems to be a player that makes Ulster tick. How have you seen him go this season? Yeah, look, he's he, he, he's been excellent and he earned his place in, in the Ireland squad and, and you know, he's a, he's a very talented player. I, th I think the, the thing that's really pleasing about that one is, is, is the way that he got the ball through his hands. Um, you know, uh, J James is strong in all areas of the game, but, um, you know, uh, his, his handling skills and his distribution skills are the thing that, uh, uh, that, that he works on the most. Um, but, you know, that that pass to put Robert away there is is top class, you know, it's, it's top class and, and fair play to him. He's, uh, he's worked hard on that, he's become very good at it. Look at that, beautiful. It was fantastic, wasn't it? I know you're enjoying watching <laughs> You're this. loving that, Dan, aren't you? <laughs> fantastic off either hand as well, which is what you want in the centre, Dan. Yeah, no, no, very good, and, and all, all credit to uh, Dan Soper um, uh, for, for, for designing those moves and working with those guys. You know, he has a, a great rapport with with those fellas, and you know there was uh, there was heat on him to make sure that the the, the, the first phase stuff worked this week, and, and, and fair play they did. The backs look great, and then uh, Nick Timoney there. We just saw him score score a try, get on the end of that that uh, ball for the try. How good has, has he been for, for you this year? I mean, he he's just seems to have come on leaps and bounds. Do you think he, he's uh, worth a shot for a flight to, to New Zealand? 
Look, he, he's been there or thereabouts, hasn't mm. he? And I think the, the, the thing for Nick is that, that he has to have impact on the game. Mm. You know, he, he, he's competing with back rowers in, uh, in, in Ireland who have impact on the game across the board. And I think one of the things that, that uh, we talked about this week coming into the game was the, the battle of the back row. Yeah. Um, and in the last two games against Munster, that battle was lost by us. Um, Alex Kendallan had a superb game up here. I thought he was really excellent. Um, Gavin Coombs carried the ball 27 times down in Munster the last time. Um, and, and, you know, it's not that they dominated the game, but they definitely had a handle on it. And, and you know, we tasked the, our, our back row uh, this week is, is making sure that that didn't happen. And, you know, Nick obviously had a, had a good presence. You know, he, he hurt himself early on. He, he's fine, but he hurt himself early on. And, you know, fair play to him. Um, I thought he was excellent. Yeah, fantastic. Final another re reflection on, on James Hume. We did an interview with him before the game, Dan, and most of your young players, actually. And James was very honest about a, t a chat that you had with him where you sat him down and you discussed his attitude. Do you remember that? And, and what were you saying to him? Jeez, that's a, that's a long time ago. Like, he's, he, he's come a long way since then. Um, <clears throat> look, you know, it, 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 it's, it would be a common chat with, uh, with, with young fellas coming in. And it's, it's, you've got to be very careful because James came in with, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of hubris, which you love. Love, you know, a lot of confidence um, as well, but pro pro probably not in, in, in line with the way that he was playing at, at, at that time. And, you know, it's, it's the basic excellence that really gets them to where they are. You know, they have to nail the basic excellence if they really want to uh, hit, hit the heights of international, uh, of international rugby. And fair play to James. G genuinely, there was a, a, a switch in focus, head down. Um, and when the opportunity came, he, he, he took it and, you know, he's, uh, uh, he, he, he's gone on from there. Final question, unless you guys have another one, I just want to ask you who you fancy between Edinburgh and the Stormers. No, I'm not answering that one. We'll, 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 <laughs> I didn't know, think you would. Right. I know, I know our on. logistics guys would rather go to Edinburgh, okay, <laughs> but we definitely owe the Stormers one, so you know, it, uh, it, it doesn't matter either way to me. Okay. Best of luck, Dan. Thank you very much for your time this evening. Thanks very Good much. Cheers, Dan. Thanks, well, Thanks, Cheers. Cheers.